Brian, yeah. it's been announced now, mate. Uh -huh. First title fight. Yeah. Yeah, Lee. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be 29 in the pool at a bonus arena. See you later, Tom. He's number one here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's been helping you. He's yeah. been watching you two spar there. Talk to you, Tom. Um, but uh, a, a great opportunity for you. Yeah. Um, 10 rounds to the Central Area title. Um, perfect time for myself. Well, you're going into this fight full of confidence, I presume, because I didn't get a chance to speak to you. I filmed it, but I didn't get a chance to speak to you afterwards. But just before Christmas, he stepped in with a... From what I was told, it was going to be a nice little tick-over fight for you all. And then you get in with a kid with a, with a winning record. Yeah. Uh, and a lot heavier. Yeah, he, was, um, he had a winning record. He was, um, he was the Midland champion. He was just come off a win yeah. from the Midland champion. Um, and... He, he, we've meant a boxer him at a certain weight and he come in a lot of people. I think it was supposed to be 9 stone 4, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, 9 4, I could be 9 But he was told 9 8. Yeah, so. But <laughs> this one, it's a fight, isn't it? So, I've done, I've done what I had to do. And um, I'm ready to take on anyone that night. So. Well, well, did you know about this fight before that or no. was it brought to your attention after the fight? Um, so, it was brought to my attention after the fight, but before the fight, I um, through camp, I imagined him. Um, Winning this fight, beating Josh Bailey, mm. getting the kids in the ring, um, and then going into the changes afterwards, and um, Steve coming up and, and saying you've got a title fight, and and it happened. <laughs> so, um, so what are you visualising yeah, for this? Yeah, you are visualising your hand being raised in the Yeah, home. yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Uh, well, it's a great opportunity for you. Um, Zijun is another VIP fighter. Yeah, he came to us uh, about three or four fights into his career, as yeah. you did. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's a strange one in the sense that you're both not local to that area. Obviously, he's a bit more local than yeah. you. He's a Bradford boy. Yeah. But um, uh, neither of you are local, yet you're topping the bill there. Yeah, well, I, I thought he was... Um, I don't know much about him. Um, I thought he was from Hull. No, and no, he, he trains up there, though. He does yeah. train there. So I think he'll have a bit of support there. He's, he's certainly a, a character. Yeah. Um, and a very confident kid. Uh, supremely confident. Uh, he, he took that at the last minute. I think it was I filmed it up in Blackburn when he fought Chief Alley and he won the super featherweight. Yeah. But he always says like you know he's a featherweight and yeah. It's a big black for a featherweight. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of respect for him and coming down to featherweight. Um, I hope he's I hope he's in in good nick and in good shape because um, I'm going to be in good shape and good nick and. And it's good. It's a good fight for the fans. So what is it? Five weeks on Saturday is it? Five weeks Saturday. Yeah. Preparations going well, I've just been yeah. watching you move around yeah, good, there. Yeah, uh, good really, yeah. Um, just from my last fight, it was only four or five weeks ago from my last fight. I had a good Christmas, um, but over the Christmas still ran, still trained, um, went away on holiday. Um, but it wasn't a holiday, it was um, it was just to get, just just to enjoy myself with the family. But yeah. I still trained, um, I got a few rounds, and rounds in with the um, Ryan Walsh. Oh um, yeah. He's in the golden contract. Um, so where did you go then? I went to Tenerife. You didn't, you didn't train at, at um, Johnny Rockhold's place, did you? No, no. no. Um, over there and got a gym. Yeah, it was, um, it was good. I'd done, I done three, six rounds over there. I'd done mm -hmm. a few mountain runs. Um, not, on, not on too heavy, just to take it back over. And, and then when I come back, I had a few rounds with Jazza. And um, so preparation's gone, gone good. You just name dropping here, right? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. So, <laughs> so, um, some brilliant fighters already, and that's just the start of the career, and then started like the camp. Yeah. So five weeks. Well, yeah, we'll have a few more name droppings. So, <laughs> so well, I, obviously, I'll try and catch up. I just I only got announced a few days ago. Yeah. Um. So uh, I know I'm going to try and catch up with early next week. I'm going down to to Hull, um, yeah. or Bradford, depending where he's training at. I'm going to catch up with Zijan. But you're on a good card, like you say, yeah. great venue. We had a first show there. Uh, I think it was back in the last year yeah. where Marcel Braithwaite from Liverpool oh, yeah. went up there and fought uh, Craig Darvish and won the England style. Yeah. So a lucky place for yeah. uh, you Scouts fighters. Yeah, it's right. Well, I've got um, when it was announced, um, a lot of people have jumped on board and booked hotels already. So um, I, I didn't expect I didn't expect to bring so many people up already. Mm -hmm. So there'd be a good few few for me going up and um, 
we're, we're going to upset the year. Well, 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 well there's, there's quite a few good fighters on there. There's a kid yeah. called Sonny Taylor, Cruiserweight, yeah. who's a real exciting prospect. I think, actually, everyone who's on the card is unbeaten yeah. and uh, have all showed really, really good promise. A kid called Louis Sylvester, uh, Connor Coghill, um, I've missed a few names out there, but all the kids are all good lads and all exciting fighters. So well, it's good to, to top, top a bill like yeah, that, though, that's like that. Um, brilliant. I'm yeah. made up. Well, as you say, that's must have tick a box. Yeah. You know, when yeah, you, I know well. it's not in your hometown or anything, but you know, you've know you got that fear factor of fighting away from home, yeah. but topping a bill with a great undercard. Yeah, well, I've always thought like I'd rather top a bill, um, like wherever it be, top a bill than box on like. A massive stadium on an undercard. Yeah, and yeah, I'd yeah. be the main man on the bill, so. Yeah, because there's going to be a crowd in there, yeah. and there'll be some noise. Yeah, it'll be um, hostile for me. With that, <laughs> I'll bring you. No, hey, listen, it's been it's been great. I, I did say to you, arguably one of our most improved fighters. I think, like I say, your your last two opponents have been uh, cracking opponents. Uh, Josh Bailey, as well, you know, as well as having that winning record. I think if you look at the people who've beat him, an yeah. all quality kid. Have you got him with that? Uh, he wasn't a world champion then, but he went on to be a world champion. The Chinese lad, the one who looks like Josh Warrington. Is it Kang Chu or something? Kang Yin? Something. Well, uh, yeah, so you know, this guy is no fear. Yeah. And uh, you got in there, and, and, and like I say, I was a little bit worried for you, but I was wrong again, so I'm excited to see what, what happens on February 29th. Yeah, day. Libya. And it's, um, it's my son's birthday the day before. All so right. I'm weighing in, um, I won't see him, because I'm weighing in the day before, we're staying over. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to um, I'm going to bring the title back for my son. Right. Well, like I say, uh, pressure on yourself now. Yeah. Listen, it's a great fight and uh, hopefully great opportunities for whoever wins. And I know something that when Steve puts VIP fighters together, it's always a cracking fight and it's always at the right time. So uh, I think uh, this is ideal. What are you eight and one? I'm eight and one, nine and all. So with him, I've got two knockouts. He's got two knockouts. So it's almost it's, identical. It's isn't it? ident identical. Yeah. Yeah. So he be he will be nine and one, and I'll be no he'll be what ten and one, yeah, yeah. and I'll no. be ten and one when I win. No 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 no, you you'll be nine and one, and you you'll be yeah, I'll be nine and, and one, he'll be nine and, and he'll be nine and one when I win. Yeah. So we get well, to be get to be match on for this. Maybe because we both be our yeah. fighters. But get to uh, be match on for the English then. <laughs> well, I, I would really like to see uh, you both do well, uh, and if you both. Bring your name games, I'm sure it's an exciting fight and the winners in this are going to be the fans up in Hull. Yeah. So, uh, a great, great way day for your fans yeah. and, and for us as well. Yeah, yeah. love and respect to them, see you Jan. So, thank you, bring your name game. Alright, Brian, we'll see you on the 29th if we don't bump into you before then. Yes, Take sir. care mate. Thank Bye. you. Bye.